Hello everyone, and this is Stephanie of Creatively Miss Me, Decorating on a Budget. Now in today's video, I'm still organizing areas in the home, and today I am going to redo this season drawer. Now, it's going to be kind of a three-part, a two-part thing, because you see I have my jars still with the red tops on them. I'm going to take all the tops off and paint them a different color. So that's why I said it's going to be kind of like a two-part thing. But also, too, I'm going to do some other things to perk it up a bit. I purchased some more labels, so they will be used then. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take everything out the drawers. Now, mind you, someone asked me where I got my bottles. I didn't get them on Amazon. And what I did do was I went to the 99 cents only store a few years back. And they used to have all these different spices in the store. And sometimes the spices would be old. But the bottle was only, they were like two, four dollars then when I got them. So I just kept going back and buying however many I needed to get the job done. Now, some are plastic. Some are, well, the majority of them are glass, but some of them are plastic. That's row two. Let's get out row three. <coughs> Excuse the call. Still dealing with that flu bug. It's driving me cuckoo cuckoo cuckoo. It won't go away. Okay. Now let's get down to the very last drawer where I have some new bottles sitting or some that I'm going to change out. Yeah, your girl always busy. Always. Now, like, I need to find me some more of this. Uh, time I go to the store, the shelf is empty. So I need to figure out a plan. I need to order, get me at least two bottles and keep two bottles on hand because I like this. I know she has some other seasonings out. And I do want to try those. So that would be something to try. So now I get to use a toy that I have that I haven't used in here. I have to find the right connections. I have this little handy vacuum cleaner. I used it to show a display when I first got it, but I need to seriously clean this drawer out and I'm trying to find the right nozzle. Okay, so I'm taking this out, shaking it. He's telling me that it's dead. Okay, now that I got the attachment, let's cut it on.
Okay, now that it's cleaned out, let me get the towel and I'm gonna wipe it down. I want to make sure it's kind of dry before I put this liner in the drawer. Okay, now here's the drawer liner. And what I'm adding are these racks that I got from Amazon. I've been wanting some of these things for a while now. Okay, and I've been contemplating ordering them because I wasn't sure if they would do right in my drawer. So, these are slidable. I was trying to see if they locked, but nope, they don't lock. So, they are adjustable to your drawer. Now, some of you know, I like to see through things, so that's why they're clear. I've seen some that are black, and I did not do a DIY of some a few years back um, with some, some of the board from the Dollar Tree and some shelf liner. Now, if I can find that video, I will hook it up. I'm trying to see, will I be able to, let me... Stick one in to see if I can do a fourth row. Yeah, I can get away with a fourth row. So let me get the other one. Okay. Up. Pulling the liner up. I did that when I moved it. Now, stretch them back out. So, now I have four good rows. That is impressive. So, now I'm going to start putting my spices back in. And then the next time you see this drawer, it'll be totally complete. The way I really want it to look. I'm really happy with this. It makes it look so much better. goes up there. Not that one. I know one of these are going to move up because I am putting this one here. So, let's throw up these here. Cream. This is Dash. Now I have some that are empty, so I'm going to put the empty ones in here so I don't use that space up. Okay. Let's see, what is this one? This is lemon pepper. Put that back there. 
put all the Mrs. Dash together. Make them look nice. Okay. I tried to put them in order of how I use them and keep the Mrs. Dash together so I know when I'm cooking my husband's meals that the Mrs. Dashes are all there together. Now I'm really pleased with the uh, trays. I normally would make it out of that um, that board, I think it's cork board or whatever it is, a poster board, thick poster board from the Dollar Tree and then cover it with some of the drawer liner paper that they have. But I really wanted to do this using the clear. And I'm really pleased with it. Now, this is how it looks right now. But I'm going to close the drawer. And then the next time you see all of this, it'll be completed. So hopefully you'll come back for the part two where you see how it all turns out. And I'll see you in the next episode. If you want to see more, click the video here or the link below and you'll be blessed.